Guten Tag. I'm Leslie, and I was going to come up with some random fact to share, but I can never find something that's like, I don't know, funny enough, weird enough. I don't know. So I feel like there's this empty space in my intro. Maybe I'll get it filled someday. Anyway, so as you can see, I have a new setup. I'm super anxious about it. I'm, I have my phone on a tripod and it's significantly farther away from me and I can't see what I'm doing. Um, and I'm a little self-conscious about that. Um, and I feel like that's why I struggle also with like making connections with people and like socializing, 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 because I don't, I, I, I speak with my hands and, and I don't know, I just, what am I doing? What do they, what do people see when they look at me? Because I don't know. And you only know the world from your own eyes. So, <laughs> anyway, today. Uh, so, this manic episode was fun at first. I mean, I was getting so much done. And I was motivated, it was exhilarating, it was satisfying, and not that it's still not satisfying, okay? Because it definitely is. I I got all this done, and I'm in my studio now, or spare bedroom, and I wanted this to be like my painting studio, and it kind of still is, like I have this whole closet full of all my paintings and art and all that stuff, uh, but like, it's also a relaxation place. I got a little corner over here. I like doing little diamond painting things. So I got a little spot to hang out. Um, I can utilize this for multiple things. And it just feels nice to really have just my own space. And it's why I wanted to have a third bedroom. So I could have a studio. I still have to get more art up on my walls. I'm going to put some rope lights up, too. I got big plans. Like, I'm only, like, maybe halfway there. So, I did this instead of being at work. So, last night, I didn't go to bed till like, 12, 12.30. And my alarm woke me up at 5. I apologize, I need a drink. I have a really big Mountain Dew problem. I just bought two 24 packs today. I can't even tell you the last time I bought my other two 24 packs before that and then the pet pop before that. And it is kind of out of control. And I'm aware of it. Uh, I don't have the willpower to do anything about it right now, so. Just, like my brain's going a million miles an hour. Like I can't even finish a freaking story. I was talking about this morning. So let's go back to that. Uh, I woke up at five and I use the term woke up loosely because it was so hard to just move. And I had to go to the bathroom too. But I didn't have the energy or the motivation to move. Like, I'm not, and that's what I'm struggling with. I'm not tired until super late. Like, I was, but last night I was struggling because I was tired. Lying in bed, yawning. Can't sleep because all I can think about is what I want to do with this room. What I want to continue. Like, I have so many little mini projects going around, on around the house. And... It's hard to silence it at night. I don't like listening to music. I'm a light sleeper. Um, I recently got a nice new memory foam pillow, the contour ones. I sleep really good. 
it's hard to get up though. <laughs> like this morning. So yeah, I ended up like laying down on the couch and I just kind of migrated and from the bedroom to the couch. <laughs> I fell asleep for like three hours. I was supposed to be at work at six o'clock and I woke up and I just, it's gonna sound horrible to say, and it's hard for me because I take pride in the fact that I take pride in my work and going to work every day and being on time every day. That's very important to me. A good work ethic is important in showing that is important and I don't like being late. I like being early and when I woke up, normally I'll be like panicking. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I fell back asleep. I'm supposed to be at work right now. I'm supposed to be punching in right now and I just woke up. Like that kind of stuff, I, I freak out. You know, I feel bad and I feel guilty and I know things happen, but that's not me. So this morning when I woke up at like eight, yeah, I just didn't care. Like I didn't even want to get up, but I felt bad because, <sighs> okay, I, I feel bad about not going to work. I feel like I'm letting my family down. even though I'm not really handling this very well. I really wish that I could stop. I was actually quite physically tired throughout the entire process of doing this room, but I couldn't freaking stop. I had to finish. And I finally did settle down because, I don't know, just my body's like, hey, sit down, but my brain's like, hmm. I feel like it's like a beehive in there. It's okay. So, back to where I was going. Uh, I ended up going into work. I was there for about 45 minutes. Maybe an hour. Maybe. And then I left. Because I was talking with one of the girls. And she was saying she was worried about me and how I'm handling it. And I'm always really, really good at putting a front up because I don't want people to think that I'm using my disability as a crutch, as an excuse to get out of something. I'm not. I'm just not okay. I'm not me. Me is a middle ground between now and, you know, the anxious, depressed Leslie that doesn't do anything because existing requires more energy than I have. So doing anything beyond existing is too much. But I still go to work full time and take care of my family and the house as best as I can. So... I feel bad right now because it's like, okay, I have a nice little clock over here because I have no way of telling how long I have been talking. Um, so what? I started eight minutes ago. It's like nine o'clock right now. The time I am recording this is 9 p.m. I should be asleep right now. Gotta work at six. But I've kind of just resign myself to calling off. I know I'm not gonna get to sleep, and I know. So I went to the store after I left to pick up pop and a few other things. Uh, what else did I get? I got some melatonin, buy one, get one free. Um, I got that for both me and River. She has a hard time sleeping sometimes, especially now, I'm not so good at like, buckling down on, make sure you go to bed at 10. I'm that free spirit mom that's like, don't go to sleep later than midnight. 
I mean, as long as she don't, I don't know, I feel bad. And that's a whole nother thing that I don't even want to get into now is certain aspects of my parenting style that I just don't have the energy to deal with. Anyway. So. <clears throat> that started somewhere. But I guess I'll just backtrack. Um, oh yeah, I went to the store. See, I knew I'd get back there at one point in time. <sighs> I got this chair I'm sitting in. But anyway. I don't know. I don't even know why I mentioned that I went to the store. I don't think I can even express in words how freaking frustrating that is. To be going along a sentence and then completely lose what the point of it was. And, and then not even really be able to get back to the point where you can figure it out. Because a lot of times I can do that. I can backtrack far enough to, okay, I know exactly what I was going to say, what my thought process was. But a lot of times I can't, and it's freaking frustrating, because, I don't know. <sighs> My memory is really, really bad. A lot of times John will remind me, we had this conversation, but I don't remember having that conversation. And it's not because I wasn't paying attention, because I do, but it's hard to actually give 100% of my attention to anybody's conversation when everything that's going on inside my head is so freaking loud. And so, yeah, I, I don't remember a whole lot of stuff. And it makes me feel stupid, honestly. It really does. And that's something that I have a hard time getting over. When I communicate with people, I feel stupid. I can't remember things. And I know I'm not stupid. And that's what frustrates me. I'm gonna get through that. So, yeah, I don't like calling off. And I feel bad because John reminded me, that's why I brought it up, the melatonin, ha! <laughs> uh, uh, so I got the melatonin so that I could sleep tonight. And I haven't taken it yet. Cause I just, It's hard to admit that I don't care. It's so polar opposite. Normally I'm giving 125 plus percent. I care too much. Working's my top priority. And when it's suddenly not, I don't know how to handle that. And I mean, really, and, and that's where I'm frustrated. Like, should I be going to work right now? I don't know. I mean, I'm not in the best mental state, I know. And it's awkward to say that because I know I feel kind of fine, but at the same time, I don't. So I don't even know how to explain that beyond that. <sighs> So, today I did work on, I didn't read any or listen to any more of the book that I started because I was trying to focus on my growth. Despite all the crap that is me right now, I'm still trying to work on growing. And it's, it's almost, it's, to me it seems kind of weird because here I am, I'm manic and I'm trying to improve my inner monologue to be more positive. And at this exact moment, it's not negative. But I know I have a tendency, more often than not, to have those negative internal monologue thoughts and whatnot. So today I worked on, am I willing? actually did it a lot. I got stuck in that cash. 
and I was hungry. I hadn't eaten in like 16 hours. I wanted to eat something and they just, I, I felt bad so I punched in. I mean, of course I'm two and a half hours late. Why would I grab something to eat? I feel bad already, kind of. Anyway, so I get thrown in back cash for a break. No problem, it's only 30 minutes. That has become one of my least favorite positions. I used to actually enjoy it. It was an adrenaline rush. But now it's just overwhelming. The speed and like the, cons it's constant car after car after car. And when you do get overwhelmed by the constant bombardment of people trying to talk to you at the window while you're trying to take somebody's order at the same time, taking cash, counting money, processing special requests. It's a lot to take in and deal with. I can't do it from, I can barely do it for 30 minutes anymore before I just, my anger, my anger. And of course, right after that, I'm asked to run out an order and a guy gets angry at me. Like I had literally just came from the back. And they're like, hey, can you run this out? Okay, sure, where is it at? Oh, I found the car. And the guy's like complaining that there had been like 10 cars that passed him. And I'm like, I literally have no idea what the heck is going on right now, okay? I was handed a bag, I didn't even, get told what was inside the bag. I was just told to take it out to the car that was pulled for it. And he was the only car pulled for it. So it was his. And he was mad about it. And I'm like, I'm sorry, sir. Like, I have no idea what his, the situation was, but I apologize. And he's like, well, you need to get your shit together. I can't stand it when people swear at me. That right there is just, a f you flipping a switch. Like, yes, I swear all the time, but not in an interaction like that. That's rude and disrespectful. If it had been flipped and he had been the manager and I had been the upset customer, I still think swearing is not acceptable. There are other ways that you can resolve an issue and show that you are frustrated and blah, 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 blah. Like, and handle the situation so much better. So the minute you start swearing at me, the minute that I pretty much, in my head, this conversation's over. I was, I'm not in the right mental state to deal with a customer. And I tried walking away. And he's like, oh no, I'm not done. And like instantly, I thought, I'm not willing to deal with this guy treating me like shit. Because... That's how people treat us. And that's why I don't like my job and I'm tired of it. I'm, excuse me, I'm getting passionate. Because it's so hard. I've been working at McDonald's for 13 years now. It's not an easy job. The expectations are ridiculous. And I'm gonna continuously say that as management, we don't get paid enough for the expectations that are handed to us and I mean I struggle with my mental stability as it is add all that on top of it and I don't know how I've gotten it this gotten this far I really don't people have gotten worse they really have they're so much meaner and ruder I had one lady go off on me one night Oh, I guess I'm getting into McDonald's stuff. I had one lady go off on me one night claiming that we overcharged her. She was swearing up a storm on the phone with me. So I said, I'm sorry, ma'am, you're swearing at me. I'm not going to be verbally abused. I'm hanging up now. And I hung up. <laughs> I'm not going to tolerate that. I have no tolerance policy when it comes to swearing. So it's verbal abuse. Straight up. Anyway, she kept calling back. And I kept telling the same thing. She's wearing at me. I'm going to hang up. She finally ended up coming through. This was an overnight I worked. Or was it a morning? I can't remember. <sighs> she hands me the receipt. She's yelling at me. Are you the one that hung up on me? Yeah, because you're verbally abusing me and I'm not going to put up with that. Like, I... Nobody should be treated like that. She's like, well, I'm upset and I'm angry. I'm like, I understand that you're upset and angry, but that's there's other ways to deal with it. 
She hands me the receipt and I look at it and I was like, okay, so how much money did you hand the cashier? And she said, I paid with my debit card. And I was like, well, the receipt that you handed me says that it was paid with cash and there was change given back. And so I ended up pulling up her order and I asked her, I was like, well, what's the last four digits of your card number? She told me, and I was like, here's your actual receipt. You were not overcharged. No, she wasn't overcharged. She just overreacted to the fact that she was given the receipt for the car in front of her instead of hers. Assuming that she got charged for that order, but given her own order. I understand people have bad days. I have bad days all the time. But I don't take it out on other people. I mean, the way I do it isn't great. I sometimes take it out on myself. But, or I hold it in and I don't take it out at all. But, I mean, don't treat somebody like they're lesser of a human because something bad happened in your day and I don't even care what it is. Even if somebody in your family died, there's no reason to treat somebody like they're nothing but trash. And I'm tired of getting that on a daily basis. So, yeah, I wasn't gonna deal with that situation today. I, I looked at the guy and I said, I'll go get my bus. And I went inside and <laughs> I went and got my bus. And she handled it. So, yeah, I'm not gonna put up with that crap. I am not willing, I'm not willing. And, and today I was not willing to put my effort towards working in the ridiculously stressful, chaotic, BS environment that I work in right now. I don't have the capacity to function in that. So, but there's still this tiny little seed inside me that's like kind of sprouting or growing. I don't know. I'm trying to find an analogy and Sometimes it's hard to find analogies, especially on the spot. So anyway, it's like this whisper that was reminding me that I should feel guilty. And I'm going to say it in a way that sounds ridiculous. I feel guilty about taking care of my mental health. I don't know why. Maybe it's, I, I honestly just have no idea why. Like, I shouldn't. Why do I feel guilty? But I do. And that's why most of the time, like I said, regardless how I feel. I'm sorry, I've been playing with this. Put it down. Look at my little ball. Um. So, I forgot again. <sighs> I don't think there was much more. I really just spent my whole day in here working on this and just perfecting it as much as I could. And I made small little messes in the dining room area now that I have to take care of. But, like, I feel more like I can breathe in here. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to be able to like, like feel to me likes. I wanted to feel like I could breathe. And, and I do. I feel comfortable and relaxed. And highly satisfied. I'm running out of rooms to do like these flips on. And I know I'm going to end up like going towards putting paintings on the walls and that's dangerous because that requires two people to make sure that it looks nice and level and straight. And I don't want anybody's help right now. I can do everything on my own by myself. But a little part of me knows I can't do that one. 
Um, but I don't want to bother John. I feel like every time I interrupt him while he's watching something or ask him to do something, I'm bothering him. I still do it a lot of times. <laughs> but certain things I don't bother him with. Like trivial things. I don't know. I guess my definition of trivial is... I don't know, my awkward, strange definition. Because some things aren't trivial. Some things really are. And he just stares at me. And I know that he's just, like, listening <laughs> until I can leave. And that's okay. At least he's listening. I don't ask for a whole lot back. Unless I actually ask. Alright. So, I think it's about 20 minutes. If I can do math in my head right. I don't want to run this video too long. I try to keep them a little bit short, but I like to talk a lot. Um, I don't think I have much more to say today. So once again, thanks for sticking with me and the changes. I'm looking towards getting some more equipment to help make this better and learn new editing skills and get better software. And a new laptop would be nice to keep up with all this, but you know, prioritize, I guess. So, all right. Well, thanks again. And I don't know what today is, but enjoy. Oh, tomorrow's Friday, right? So enjoy your Friday. TGIF tomorrow.